the legacy behind. Um, I never really believed in the smoke and mirror approach um, to anything. I'm kind of a nuts and bolts person. I really believe that you have to set, take certain steps to be able to develop your career seriously, and I really felt that I wanted to share this with artists. If I've been able to book 900, you know, one-person shows for my clients, um, it is not rocket science. If you learn the techniques, I assure you that you will have more exhibitions than, than you have had, you know, before, but you have to be willing to take certain steps to present yourself in a highly professional manner. And as I said earlier, <clears throat> you must know how to do the research to identify the market that is the most appropriate for your work, whether it's sales or whether it's exhibitions in the nonprofit sector, you have to be willing to put that time and effort into it. It's just that some people don't know where to go to be able to get the information, you know, about the commercial markets or to better identify uh, museums and exhibiting opportunities that would really enhance your career. And I mean, it is kind of a numbers game. I'll be very honest. I contact between 80 to 100 museums for every one person exhibition I book. So, you know, but the thing is, is I wouldn't even be able to do that if I wasn't putting the legwork in that's necessary, you know, to get my client shows. So, I, I wanted to, you know, I wanted to give this information um, to artists. And it's not an inexpensive book. But, I, you know, I will tell you that I've, you know, gotten a lot of wonderful response, you know, a lot of coverage, but it's so gratifying when artists get back in touch with you and say, you know, that was really a good read. It was the best money I ever spent in terms of getting general information about marketing my work. So that's what I wanted to do and what I wanted to achieve with this effort. It took me 12 years. <laughs> And although, you know, my, my efforts only sort of comprise half of the book in total, all the different sample pitch letters and how you contact the press and sample press releases, and then all of my techniques that are based on the progressions that, you know, I talked about through levels one, two, and three, but I have leading art critics and curators who are associates of my company uh, in New York and Peter Frank here in California, and they have always understood what the purpose of this company is, and that is to be of help to artists. And so they have all contributed chapters on, you know, every topic imaginable that would be of concern to artists who are trying to seriously develop uh, their careers, and that's the other information that's provided, you know, in the book. So, and tonight I'm giving a 20% discount, or well, actually a $20 discount, it's a little bit more than, uh, <clears throat> but it's $79 tonight. And I hope you'll consider purchasing it, and I promise you, you will not be disappointed. And if you want to learn more about where the book has been covered, I've been, you know, interviewed on Yale Radio, and it's just been, the response has really been fantastic. And I will offer anybody who does not want to actually purchase it tonight, if you go to my website, ktcassoc.com, and you put a forward slash and then payment, you can say that you were at the lecture tonight and I will offer you the same discount if you want to pay PayPal by credit card. So anyway, that kind of sums it up. What is, what is the name of your book? Huh? The name of the book? It's called Accelerating on the Curves, The Artist's Roadmap to Success. That would help if I said that, wouldn't it? <laughs> and actually the painting on the cover is a California artist a former client um, whose work I have always admired. She's from Santa Monica, Astrid Preston. Thank you. <laughs>